What's up guys, it's Hubs, and this video is about Frontier Hunter Season 4, um, Middle, and basically it's, if you haven't seen my entrance video, you should check out my main channel page and uh, watch that video first, but this would be the second video in the series for Season 4 um, on Middle. I'm still running the exact same party that did an entrance. Um, the first two are usually pretty easy, I mean... Um, a beginner should be able to finish entrance, um, an average player should find middle pretty easy, um, and then end is usually challenging for the average player, and, um, for top players, I mean, it's just a grind fest for end. Um, but anyways, this video is more about middle, I'm running the same party, two Felness leaders, four Douglases, this way, even if there's only one enemy unit, um, activating everyone's, um, super brave burst, Everyone will regain the two Brave Burst for the next turn as well. Um, I'm also using a Balance Set as well. Um, just because I, it's for the Attack Elixir and the Fusion Elixirs for the first turn. Uh, that's all that really matters. I just I throw a Fusion Elixir on a Felness and two Douglases. And then I just turn on Auto Battle. And I just let all the full Brave Burst gauges just kick in. Um, so you saw the first, um, first stage I got 100k points. Um, looks like I'm getting pretty lucky in terms of mobs. So the first one was like quite a few units. The second one, I, looks like I got four. The Zagar Weiss group. Um, so let's see if I can one shot. Yeah, it's probably. Um, so if you didn't watch the first video, um, let me just mention that three of my Douglases are Guardians. Um, they're all max level, and my fourth one is Lord. So because I was lucky enough to get three of the same type, I saw that. I can use this to my advantage actually and so all of my Douglases only have super brave first one um, it doesn't really matter in middle because you can't or you won't see a huge difference but in end when you don't one turn kill every stage it becomes useful because if you had all breaker Douglases for example and breaker felness you might one shot the stage whereas if you have all guardian with SVV one you might not and it's that's actually better um, the one turn bonus is only 40,000 points but doing another turn of sparks potentially nets you more than 40k so it's actually better to do less damage and take more rounds to kill or finish a mob than to just finish it in one round and you can really stack points that way and i mean i right now um this is so it's about four hours since the release of frontier hunter season four i'm rank eight right now i think uh, most people in the top 10 are actually using zebra leaders um with crit teams to do damage for points um the only person above me right now that i think that is actually more efficient in points than me um i think is hazel and he is actually using um a crit team uh, i don't know exactly what his team composition is but um most of the other guys that are using crit teams that are above me are not actually more efficient than me point wise um i'm not even sure if they're auto bottling or not because using a crit team, I wouldn't imagine that you're auto-battling because you need to activate certain units at, in a specific order. Uh, for me, I'm like I'm just auto-battling through everything in end at least. Um, but yeah, so... Th and hopefully like in this video, you guys can see... Um, it, it's hard to say because like I'm auto-battling through it. Um, you got to take my word that entrance and middle are usually pretty easy. And the average player should not have a problem with uh, middle. Um, the more interesting video is going to be the next video on end. Um, I've got a lot more to say about it than this one. This one, I just kind of auto battled my way through it. I mean, it was... Hmm. I don't want to say it was, like, super easy, because... I mean, it's not like this last boss stage is, like, super easy. I mean, like, the average player will have to itemize properly, um, bring the right spheres, and have a, a decent party, like... I mean, like, right, I can see, like... I, I was using Exo Shields on all my Douglases, so everyone was just doing one damage to me which is, I mean, that's what I was expecting. Mm, yeah, I was really decked out. And my, my plan was to use Exo Shields. They give 75% defense for the first three turns. Um, and I thought, yeah, it was like a really great idea to bring into end. But the problem was, like, I didn't want to bring a healer like Altree for negative status ailments. Um, and I wanted to auto battle through it. So when you see me do my end video, like, I'm, I'm still using Exo Shields. But, um since because that was the first time i recorded it and i'm just gonna use that video but since then i actually have changed it i don't use exo shields i use 
I have three refined gems, so I use those. And I use two more, I think they're called stupor shards, and they give you immunity to paralysis. So I can just auto battle through and and it makes it so like it's super easy for me to rank um, if I just gem for orbs. Gem for orbs, auto battle through it, get a ton of points, you know, life is pretty good. Yeah, so I mean you can see the spheres here as well. You get like basically the prize, the biggest prize here is another sacred jewel. It's one of the best gems um, in the game right now for survivability, the better one being Medulla Gem. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.